so today is two days after Christmas uh, yesterday we just spent it with uh, parentals across the water rode the ferry and then dropped off gifts of social distancing and then uh, a few days before that just spent it with our own family with our kids and stuff and so i hope you guys have been having oh my goodness i feel like i'm crooked i hope you guys have been having an amazing uh celebration uh with your loved ones all right so scentsy warmers and scents that i have been enjoying into my home and i went ahead and just uh, changed it up a bit i'm cleaning up our holiday festivity mess <laughs> and kind of going room by room of uh, changing up the decor, putting away some Christmas decoration because I don't like to wait last minute. I like to just do them, you know, few here between now and uh, usually it's like January, I think it's what, January 5th or the 6th after the Three Kings uh, for um, for the decorations um, so I'll have my Christmas tree up until probably then and then as far as like Scentsy warmers I'm putting them away <laughs> day by day kind of thing so it does it's it's quite a process for me so that's why I start decoration for um, for the holiday like come September for fall and then come November for uh, Christmas or winter all right, so I do have a couple of warmers up that I wanted to share with you guys. And for right now, though, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some scents that I am enjoying currently into those areas. And those scents are just two bricks and then three regular bars. So the first scent that I wanted to share with you guys is apricot and vanilla. And this one is currently into the bathroom downstairs that I already filmed. So I kind of filmed before I I do the actual video just so that because of the lighting. <laughs> I filmed it earlier today and now it's like pitch black outside, but I have these um these two lights that helps me with the with the video of face to face, but throughout my home sometimes it gets very dark. So I filmed that first and then into my bathroom I showed you guys that there's a mini warmer that I changed in there and then I put in um apricot vanilla. Apricot vanilla is one of my favorite feminine, like, um, I don't want to say the classic feminine. It's just a grown-up feminine. <laughs> it's not girly feminine. It's not sweet. Um, it's just, a, it, to me, it's a, it's a feminine, mature, feminine woman uh, scent of uh, apricot vanilla. One of my favorites. This is on to my Scentsy Club. I have acquired plenty of this when it was available. Currently, it is not available, and this one I finished up my bar, and I do have still some some backups, a couple of backups into um, my Scentsy stash. But this one is currently melting into the bathroom downstairs, along with my bedroom, and then my ba master bathroom, and then the kids' bathroom. So it's a nice, refreshing scent to get us away from all the spices of that season sense um so um truly enjoying that one okay so this one i and within the past maybe week since i saw you guys last i have gone through a whole bar of gingerbread hugs now i thought that cookies for santa was um my number one favorite out of the uh sense of the season pack but it turned out it was gingerbread hugs I don't mind this one cookies for Santa there's something about this one I think it's more of a like a milk base sometimes it has like a like an after sour smell it smells good I still love it I love cookies for Santa but there's that lingering sour milk sometimes not all the time just I think after like the initial drop in of after a few hours so um, Definitely ginger gingerbread hugs definitely went into first place uh, during the past week. Just truly enjoyed that. I have a couple more and then I also added it on to my Scentsy Club. So really happy that it's in there. And then Cookies for Santa went through that as well. And then it is also in my Scentsy Club. I don't mind keeping it onto my Scentsy Club until I get a few more because it was a limited edition, you know, holiday scent of the season. So I want to, you know, to get a few more of that to enjoy for the following season so really enjoyed that as well and then I went through two bricks and then that's it yeah just the two bricks and currently this one is downstairs caramel sugar cookie in a brick form 
Now with my bricks, this just came out, I believe, November. Now for it coming out in November, and then I've gone through one, two, three, four uh, Scentsy cubes, and that's a lot because each uh, Scentsy brick cube, so each Scentsy brick cube, I cut it into four pieces. And one, one of those four pieces is equivalent to one regular Scentsy cube to me. And so for me to go through four, and then this one for me to go through one, two, three, four, five, and then there's just two little pieces, which is uh, two, two cubes of that, means that I'm really enjoying these, um, these scents that came out uh, during, okay, it's still this year. <laughs> oh, it's almost 2021, but during this 2020 holiday uh, brick release uh, season. Okay, so that is marshmallow mint cocoa. And then caramel sugar cookie. Caramel sugar cookie to me, um, downstairs, uh, I don't have it because my kids are always getting the hugs, hugs in a mug. I had to stop myself because I actually got hug in a mug because I was saying um, downstairs um, where I'm going to show you guys uh, some of my new warmers. I have one warmer and they're Element. So Element warmers tends to be very, um, not weak in a sense just that it it doesn't have maybe weak <laughs> it just doesn't have that throw performance that i'm accustomed to with especially a uh, 25 watt warmer or some of the the higher wattage warmers it just doesn't have that um to it and with element warmers i tend i still enjoy it i love element warmers it has its pros and cons and to me i mainly use my element warmers as uh, decorative purposes um, I do use them I enjoy them but I don't <laughs> uh, throughout the years I have learned or I have taught myself not to um, expect too much <laughs> from the element warmers as far as performance because there are some of them that it takes forever to melt the wax especially around the the rim around the edges one of the holiday warmers that uh, did that to me was melt your heart and i constantly had it on almost every day and then i would um, sometimes leave it on um you know like late at night before i go to bed of like you know one two o'clock kind of in the morning early mornings and there's still even though it's been on all day there's still that hard wax around the the edges yeah that one is an element warmer so sometimes that happens <laughs> And instead of like really complaining about it, I, I'm trying to look at the upside of it and say that it's very decorative because a lot of our element warmer is very decorative. And that one, Melt Your Heart, is the one with the mug, like the plaid mug. And then it has the cute snowman just enjoying laying back. And then it has a little half of a section of the, the cup. Uh, or the mug and then you're melting the, mat, the the wax so it's all good it's beautiful it's pretty I enjoyed it I'm getting my money's worth because one it's visually appealing to look at as part of my um, holiday decoration and then two I'm still using it um, to be able to to get the scent out of the the cube that I put in it but I can tell that around the edges it's not melting the wax fully and I'm okay with that all right so one has one has caramel sugar cookie which is very sweet to me it's, it's too sweet i like it but it's just too sweet especially if i had put it one across from each other and so that's what i did and what i did also was um the warmer next to this um one that i use um i believe it was be my valentine i added a uh, hug in a mug at the same time and it balanced out the sweetness of this because this one just smells like sweet cocoa where this one is caramel sugar cookie so it kind of goes together where it's not competing with each other and to me by mixing it not mixing it together because I didn't mix it into the the dishes I just turned it on at the same time um, fresh brand new cubes and I did like that it toned down the caramel sugar cookie a lot uh, with the hug in a mug okay really enjoyed that one and then like i said these were part of the um the holiday collection all right friends so those are all the scents that i have been enjoying um into my home let me go ahead and then just add on to the video that i took earlier today of the warmers that i changed out 
and currently enjoying into my home. As always, friends, thank you guys for visiting a Simply Simple set. Mahalo! All right, friends, so welcome back into our home. Um, this one is our coffee bar section. Uh, this is where I had some of uh, Christmas um, Scentsy warmers, and then I went ahead and just took that out today and then added just one Scentsy warmer, which is this teapot right here. All right, so this one is called the Vintage Teapot. I don't know if the camera will pick it up because it's very dark right now over here in Seattle. Um, it has like a vintage color to it. It's a vintage um, soft pastel pink. Okay, it's got the holes all the way around. Okay. okay, and then I also like how it glows right here on the spout. Okay. And then that's the lid. Okay. This is, um, I believe it's the caramel sugar cookie. I just changed that today. This one I just got today also from Target, um, $2.99 for this little dish. And then I like to put my Keurig cups in there. I just uh, use my leftover uh, decorations, like Christmas decorations that I have not put away. Christmas tree um, from Target along with that tree that I can still use throughout the winter. I took out the two Scentsy warmers here. I kept the the gnome because it's pink and white and I feel like it still goes with like the Valentine's um, feel. And then I also have the Ray Dunn, two Ray Dunn uh, that I got from Hubby this Christmas, me and you. And then the Love, it has a nice soft pink on the inside to go with the gnome and then this vintage teapot. All right, this is my midsection from my kitchen and the living room, which is uh, right across from the coffee bar. This one, I added two uh, Scentsy warmers in here, um, uh, one on each side. And they're both element warmers. This one is the Be Mine element warmer, and then this one is the Star Dance element warmer. And then I also kept uh, a couple of the trees that I had used for Christmas decoration and then also the gnome and then those wooden house blocks that I had gotten from Target. Okay, Vintage Be Mine. Um, all the holes on the top of the lid will um, have the fragrance seep through and then no light an element and you know it's going to be on when you have the light at the back okay. cute little warmer I like that one and then this one star dance also an element this is the dish okay there's the heating plate let me turn off the light um this one was warmer of the month a uh, few years ago it's if it's not last year the year before last year so let me turn off the light alexa turn off living room light not pretty Very pretty. And then this one has hug in a mug. And then this one also has the caramel sugar cookie. So over here is our downstairs bathroom. And I went ahead and changed out the mini warmer that was in here. This one is the vintage glass warmer, and this is how it looks like when it's not turned on. It has like a um, like a dark green, like a dark forest green mercury look to it. And then when it's on, it's so pretty. 
Okay, you can see some of the mercury speckles on it. Okay. And then when I have the lights off, it's pretty as well. And I think this one just goes perfectly well into this bathroom's decor, um, monster plant. And then these are actually calendar prints that I put into a Costco frame and then I painted the frame. And I've had these for many years. Okay. So this vintage um, glass mini warmer is gonna go perfectly well into this decor. All right, friends, as always, thank you guys for visiting A Simply Simple Scent. Mahalo.